What is up guys? Today, two top 25 D3 programs are playing against each other. Randolph Macon at Christopher Newport. I thought you might enjoy riding along with me as I go to check this, uh, this game out. It's about 65 degrees outside. Got the flip-flops on. Flip-flops on. Let's take a ride. Hey guys, as you can tell, this is a little bit of a departure from the normal format of Play In School TV. But I thought we'd uh, use this to uh, to take a look at a few things and and um, you know kind of re reemphasize a few of the points that we've tried to make in the past. Uh, first of all, last uh, Play In School TV really talked about self evaluation. You know, I just want to let you know that getting out to see games is not that hard to do. Um, you know, I wanted to use this time to, to, to dispel a couple of the common misconceptions about D3 baseball. Now, I played D1 baseball, and it was a really, it was a really good experience, um, but it's not for everybody. And I feel like there's a lot of kids who, who continue to fall into this D1 or bust um, um, bubble because... They just don't really know about the other options, or they just haven't been exposed to any other options. And you know, to um, tell you the truth, that's a big part of why we do our college bus tours. Um, every single bus tour that we go on to visits um, a variety of D3s. So, just want to kind of talk about some of the common misconceptions, and 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 uh, while we're doing that, we'll we'll look at some of the visuals from down there at Christopher Newport. One of the things I hear a lot is, is that, you know, the baseball's not very good or it's not very competitive. Well, I will tell you that in the state of Virginia, um, the baseball is unbelievably competitive. On, on the mound in this particular day, the, the starter, Christopher Newport, touched 90. Um, that's pretty good, considering I go to D1 games all the time where you see guys who don't touch 90. Okay, so... Um, the competition level is very strong, uh, very good play um, from, from both sides of the ball. I actually saw five balls leave the yard uh, during this ball game. It was a very good game. These are both top 25 teams. Christopher Newport and Randolph Macon have a, have a history of winning. One of the neat things about this level of baseball, they both play in conferences that are, that are two of the top conferences in the country. Um, the ODAC and the capital, uh, respectively. Uh, you can pretty much count on a number of College World Series participants coming from both of these conferences. And the reason I bring this up is, you know, you, you, you go to one of these strong D3 programs in a strong um, conference, you have a realistic chance of postseason play. Not, not only the conference tournament, but a very strong chance of playing in a regional and a realistic chance of playing in a College World Series. Okay, Doesn't sound like a big deal. Well, I, I can tell you flat out that there are a lot of D1 programs with little to no chance of ever making it to a College World Series. It's not... The balances shift at the D1 level with resources. The schools that have the highest likelihood of making it to Omaha are the schools with the most resources. Okay, so look at the schools who are going over and over and over and over again, and you start to see that trend. Okay, at the at the D three level, it's not always about the resources. It's not always about the budget. It's it's about good coaches who are teaching the game the right way, and who are really hustling on the recruiting trail and selling the entire college experience and showing why, why their entire college is a, is a good place. Next 
next kind of bullet point, if you will, are facilities. I, I think I think a lot of kids, if uh, when a lot of kids when they think about the D three experience, they they just assume that facilities aren't good. Well, I will tell you that a lot of the places that we see on the college bus tours at the D three level look like D one facilities on a smaller scale. Okay. Um, you can obviously see what CNU's yard looks like. It is better than a lot of mid-major D1 programs. Um, another misconception is you're not going to play in front of anybody. Well, newsflash, if you play at a small D1 or a mid-major D1 program, you're not going to play in front of a lot of people anyway. You know, I know a lot of kids sit at home with their parents and they watch the... Um, you know, they, they watch the ACC, uh, they watch the SEC, they watch the Longhorn Network, and they see these giant crowds, three, four, five, ten thousand 10,000 people in the stadium, and they think college baseball is going to be like that no matter where they go. Well, the reality is, at the game, uh, the CNU Randolph-Macon game, there was probably 200 plus people there, you know, coming and going throughout the day. Uh, which is more than the last two D1 games I went to combined, okay? Did you catch that? More people at, on a Tuesday at a D3 game than the last two D1 games I went to combined, okay? Another common misconception is that the D3 schools aren't good, good schools. Now, th this is ridiculous um, because academic success or the academic level of a school is not tied to the level of their uh, athletic program. It has nothing to do with, with that at all. As, as a matter of fact, here in the state of Virginia, um, the hardest school in the state to get into is a D3 school. Okay, keep in, keep in mind, in the state of Virginia, we have D1s that include my alma mater, the College of William & Mary, uh, UVA. Virginia Tech, University of Richmond, all at the D1 level and all considered high academics. Yet the hardest school in the state to get into is Washington and Lee University, a small, elite, high academic institution in Lexington, Virginia. So there again, um, you know, hopefully that dispels that rumor. Um, so I hope you enjoy some of the some of the sights. This game was unbelievable. Like I said before, I think five balls left the yard. I saw some big-time defensive plays. Um, great coaches on both sides. Um, both were top 25 teams going into the, into the day. Ended up going, um, I think, 11 or 12 innings. It was a great ball game. Um, the, uh, the, the road team got the better of the home team this, on this particular day. But... Um, you know, guys. Again, get get out and see some get out and see some games uh, this weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. So get out and see some games, and uh, don't forget hit me up on all my social media over at Play in School. I'll talk to you soon.